Hey everybody, I'm not great, and welcome to another Elden Ring recording. Today is my wife's birthday, and I am home because my car is in the shop, so I'm probably going to, to do some work on the house here in a little bit. But um, I thought I'd knock this one out early, in keeping with my, my schedule that I appointed to myself. So you'll see we are... Let's see, let's get up here... Come on, who's coming first? There we are. So you'll see we're in the Shaded Castle. We've got so many things that we need to backtrack and do. Um, and I just don't feel like dealing with... Um, what's his face yet? Uh, the guy in the capital. I can't even remember his fucking name. Come on. Okay, fine. Is that how you want to do this? So we can do it this way. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll take off blades and we'll put back on. There we are. like dealing with your ambushy bullshit right now. Okay. So, let's see. Be wary of right, yeah. And then be wary of everything. Yep, come on. I see you there. So I thought we'd come back here and and see if we can get past these fucking Valkyries. Um, because they are a huge pain in the ass. like that guy is a huge pain in the ass. And just like that Valkyrie out there is a huge pain in the ass. So let's see if we can whittle down the Valkyrie a little bit first. I think... I remember being able to do that, but I could also be wrong. Yep, pretty sure I'm wrong. <laughs> Come on. There we are. Oh, didn't even know that guy was down there. I did not explore that area very thoroughly, because it was awful. Wow, the range on those things. Damn. Alright, so we pissed off the Valkyrie. Let's go and uh, deal with that. Okay, yeah, this is much easier to deal with. Clean Rot Knight's Sword. Wonder if that gives us the, uh... Oh, hi puppy. Bye puppy. Uh, 
Alright, so clean rot night sword. Let's see. There it is. D&D, uh, &D, impaling thrust. So this is pretty standard shit. Not at all what we need to succeed. There's an asshole in here. <clears throat> yep, we can even see his sword. Come on, buddy. gonna... There we go. Alright. Come on down. So for all of the, the chaos that's in here, we definitely want a staggering weapon. So I've got my Kirby Violent Sword. Then, in this courtyard, there are tons of dogs. Can I see any of them yet? Yeah, there's one. I know there's a lot of those little fuckers. I just don't know where they are. See if I can bait anybody over. Oh, there they are. See? Fuck. This is why I hate this area. Get me the fuck out of here. I got rotted to death. Ugh. Can't even snipe a damn dog in this level. In this area. In this castle. Whatever. And I feel like I'm really close to the end of the area, too. And that's what... That's what the most frustrating thing is. Up. Ugh. There we go. Wash, rinse, repeat. Sure. Go away. comes.
There he goes. Ooh, red branch shortbow. Neat. That guy uses a crossbow too, so that's weird. All right, cool. Ugh. And what a pain in the butt. All right. Same thing, different day. At least my runes are accessible. Alright, so we got a puppy coming from the right at some point. Puppy. Puppy. Come here, puppy. Come here. No puppy? All right, no puppy. Uh, looks like I might be able to snipe one of those dogs from here. Which will probably piss off the knight, but... get to a better arena. Or not. Let's... I guess we could just sit here with our thumb up our ass. Yep, and the fight music dies away. Not want to whiff. There we go. A little bit of stagger goes a long way. Now, where's that other puppy? Heal up just in case there's another nasty surprise that we don't know about. Oh, damn it. Stop it. Yeah, screw that. Arena full of dogs and a Valkyrie. Just like, fuck that shit. Fuck all of that shit. Oh, now we have a shortcut. How do we get to that shortcut? I have no fucking clue. Oh, okay, it's from over... Okay, I see. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we have a shortcut now. Hopefully we never have to use it. There's the elevator that killed us that one time. Memories. What have we got? Right guard counter. Okay.
Oof. Because it is Plum's birthday, you're gonna hear my phone going off a lot. Oh good, we got a statue of Marka. Nice. I'm assuming that's what that is. Likely strong foe. Try close quarters battle. Ray of odor. Except try sorcery. Try close quarters. Try everything. Um yeah, fuck it. Let's uh let's see what kind of damage we can do. You leave my jelly friend alone. Ow. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Executioner's sword and a Briar Great Shield. Um. Eh. And anyway, we've only got one flask of healing left, but. I guess that's it for here. Like, I don't see any hints on the ground that would tell us if there was like a secret passage or something, so. Cool. We can mark this or take this off of our map. Um, I forget what this was over here. Oh, it was a giant. That's right. Hmm. Do I want to go and fuck with a giant? I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Either way, we're done with this part. Old Altus Tunnel. Oh, that's a sword door. Okay. And then there's another sword sword key thing over here. Wyndham Ruins. A craggy fucking mess of a spot over here. Gelmir Hero's Grave? Oh, sure. There's another stone sword key door. These are all the places that I ran past. That must be Volcano Manor. Fort Laid. Wonder where the the right and proper entrance to the manor is gonna be. May not be anywhere. <laughs> I know we need to do some shit there at some point. Seathwater River. Hmm. Yeah, this one tells us to go that way. Oh, that's right. We um That was the crater up there. When we came down. Yeah, so the entrance to the manor is up here. The ninth Mount Galmir campsite. Alright. So what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? You do the campsite. Oh yeah, I guess we should take a look at our our newly gotten gains. I don't even remember what they are anymore. Sword of Night and Flame. 
I know it was a great shield. Manor Tower Shield? No. Briar Great Shield. There we go. That was the Briar something or other. Ooh, neat. Royal Great Sword is a magic one. Grafted. God Slayers, Dark Moon, Moray. There we go, Moray Executioner Sword. So physical and magic. And unique skill. Aokade's Dancing Blade. Infuses the sword with energy, then flings it forwards in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. Charge the attack to increase the reach and duration of the spin. It is the storied sword of House Moray, family of executioners who presided over the Shaded Castle. One of the legendary armaments. Oh, so this is a legendary one. Hey. Neat, neat, neat. This one is also legendary. Also legendary. So we've got a couple of legendaries now. Um, just seeing if there's any more legendaries that we got. Nox Blowing Hammer. May shape like a suspended metal droplet wielded by monks of the Eternal City. Forged from liquid metal, flowing form. Uh, temporarily transforms armament into its liquid form. Neat. I didn't even realize we picked one of those up. Yeah, I don't want to have to, like, come back here and deal with all the fucking hens and things that are coming up this way. So I figured we'd just go, uh, go around this way and we should be alright. So hang on for one second. Alright, all done. Thanks for killing those archers for me. I appreciate that. And now it's time to go inside. But yeah, I wasn't about to stand anywhere near that motherfucker while he was doing his ragey thing. That just seems like a fool's errand. Volcano Manor. Not open from this side, okay. There's our grace. Which we do not currently need to use. Oh, hi there. Who are you? Aren't you precocious? Yes. We rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. Oh, who? So tarnished. 
Have you ever harbored doubts? Yes. About the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Yes. If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us against the Erd Tree? Your okay. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. An honor to have you. Cool. Um, let's check out upstairs. Oh, I need to talk to her again, just to be... Let's talk to this dude, too. No looking away ahead. The drawing room is... Use the key I handed. All right, let's see what happens. Well, no, let's check out upstairs real quick. No horse ahead. Thank you. Is that person on a horse? We've got the banquet hall. We've got level six smithing stone. We've got somebody who's fighting for their life. Oh, there we go. Not as much as this is going to sting. Oh, stop it. Get finger calling remedy and he's as wheel. What a dick. I am now a guest of this manor, and one of the other guests attacked me, and that is unacceptable. Where's the manager? The drawing room. Use the key. I. Okay, fine. Somebody's a dick bag. Oh, they aren't there right now, so. finger there we go attempts invasion of another player's world it is reusable but I've already got my own bloody finger letter from volcano manor I have two bell bearings I need to hand over to. <laughs> see. A written request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted is Old Knight Istvan. You can be found in Limgrave. Find the red mark on your map for the exact location. Okay, cool. You, what in heaven's name are you doing here? Fucking around. The volcano manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Yep. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. 
Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. Eh. Hi, lady. Hello again. Brave tarnished. It is a shame that I did not beckon you here with my own hand. But I am pleased that we meet again. Here, at the Volcano Manor, under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Hang on. There we go. Responding to work text. Turning my volume all the way the fuck down. Um, shit. Brave Tarnay under Lady Tan. Okay, yeah. This blasphemous before you consider. Yep, 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 sure. Hi, somebody who looks like they should be a vampire. Oh, oh it, I've. It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? He's totally gonna betray us. I, um, I can tell. You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I, after much internal debate, I've come to realize revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue. That my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both. But such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands. Their pale complexion. A far cry from any warriors. The shame of House Hoslo. But that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. I always resent pale compared to okay. the case. They'll be dark. The tale of. Go ahead and open this door for fun. bottle oh shit ah was not expecting a snail snake before we go down. Dead before you hit the ground. Oh, you weren't dead. Oops, my bad. Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 12. Oh shit, okay, cool. You don't have the right. Alright, let's take a look at our new cookbook.
What does it give us? A uh, cursed blood pot. Okay, fine. That's lovely. God, we've got so many runes right now. Definitely have a level's worth of runes. Yeah, let's go spend them real fast. Before we do something I know we'll regret. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go that way. That way we can keep, uh, one, we can keep swinging our sword, but two, we can... ambitions, though blasphemous, marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Worthy tarnished, it is the oh, run it through. Where's the chamber? Worthy tarnished, it is the run. I don't know where the fucking chamber is, dude. I can lock onto yet, so. Possible spot. Oh, great, nice. Rikard. 
Hello, creepy lizard dude. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's try going up first. I like up. Up is good. Up gives us access to other things. Like down. Sometimes, I guess, down gives us access to up. As should be the case here. Hi there. You want to fight about it? Hmm? You want to get mad? Are you mad? Because I poked you with an arrow? Oh. Okay, that's just a waste of arrows. But it's fun. Are you going to try and follow me? Oh, that's cute. That is cute. And no pews. No pews matter. All right, everybody. I'm going to wrap this one up here so I can get started on, on trying to get the house cleaned up and, and maybe some things fixed up or put together or whatever for Plum whenever she gets home for her birthday. She's got a wicked stressful week, so that's the least I can do. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We are... God, it's, it's Volcano Manor. Like, I've been hearing some horror stories about this place, but I'm also, you know, level 91 now. So let's, let's see what we can do about that, shall we? And until then, until the next time we see each other, I hope you have a good one.